What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Hope you guys are having a wonderful day today. We are back playing some Pokemon Sword and Shield, hopping onto that ranked double ladder for Series 8. And ladies and gentlemen, you guys already know the deal. We got ourselves another banger of a video for you guys today. Today, we have ourselves a Grouch Groudon team alongside with Solar Power Charizard and Inner Focus Umbreon. So if you guys are hyped, make sure you support the channel by smashing that like button and clicking that big red subscribe button. Seriously, it goes a long way. Thank you guys so much for the support that has been going out across the channel. Before we even get into like the team preview and everything, I want to actually go over something that's been happening on the channel. So if you guys noticed the past week or like two days within the week, I have not uploaded. You guys know I like to upload day to day, but like YouTube's been acting weird for some reason. I don't know if it's just like a today thing or like a this week kind of thing, but it just hasn't been letting me upload videos on the YouTube like on certain days. Like I would have to hop on on certain times to get them rolling and it's just not working normally like it normally does. But so that's why if I miss a day of uploading, that is why I don't think I'm just like shorting you guys out on content, but I'm trying to get upload and Pokemon Swords videos out for you guys as soon as I can. But rocking out on this team, we're getting started in that top left corner with Cartana with the Beast Boost ability and Assault Vest, Grass and Steel type. And then we got the moveset of Leaf Blade, Smart Strike, Sacred Sword, and Guillotine right here. Let's get after it. That's a one-hit KO move. Hopefully, we can pull that off in today's video and absolutely dump on a Pokemon. Right next to him is going to be a strong Pokemon for his team. It's going to be Charizard. Probably going to be bringing him in in most battles with Life Orb and Solar Power. You guys know that thing could probably one-hit almost every single Pokemon. It has Heat Wave, Air Slash, Scorching Sands, and Protect. Middle left, we have Groudon, our restricted mom with the Drought and Citrus Berry. Very, very strong Pokemon. And we can set him up with Sword Sands, considering that is one of the four moves we have. We also have Protect, Precipice Blades, and Rock Slide as our final move. Porygon 2 right next to him is our Trick Room Pokemon, and we can take out special attackers with Eerie Impulse. We can just drop their special attack down to 2, and then get rolling from there. We have Download, the Evo Light, so we're really bulky, Recover, and Ice Beam. Bottom left corner, we have Umbreon, Inner Focus, and Leftovers. Leftovers is a great item for him, so it can keep getting HP and keep rolling from there. We also have Yawn to put Pokemon to sleep, Moonlight, Snarl for special attackers, and Foul Play as our final move. Then in our final spot, we have another support mom with Indeedee, Psychic Surge, and Focus Sash. Expanding Force for nice damage while the Psychic Surge is rolling. Follow me to protect our, uh, our ally Pokemon, Helping Hand to help out our ally Pokemon, and Protect as our final move. Guys, if you want to try out this team for yourself, rental code is at the bottom of the screen, but let's get after it. Let's hop on to that ranked double ladder and try to get some wins with this Charizard Groudon Drought team. First battle coming at you guys, and it is a brand new season. I realize it is April now, which means the season reset, and we are back in Ultra Ball tier for right now. So we're going to be trying to push Master Ball tier right here, trying to get after it, trying to get rolling. We're going up against a Zacian team alongside with Torkoal and Venusaur, so he can thrive in the drought as well. Then he has Grimmsnarl, Dragonite, and Colossal. So we got to watch out for that Steam Engine and Weakness Policy. But speaking of new seasons, that leads me to question of the day, which is what is your guys' favorite season, whether it be fall, spring, winter, or summer? For me personally, I've always been a big winter guy but i don't know this year i'm really excited for summer i don't know if it's because it's been quarantine and we all been cooped up inside i'm just ready to go out to the beach and all that in summer considering i live like an hour from the beach and that's what what we do around here but i think summer right now is gonna be my favorite but usually it's winter usually it is winter but we're gonna get rolling here um i think i might just lead the drought people get rolling from there he does have that venus room, which, I, which i don't like I don't like i could rock out a trick room i could rock out a trick room that could that could be an option or i can just go charizard and umbreon umbreon's not bad Umbreon is not bad, because if he goes Venusaur and, and uh, yeah, I think I'm going to go Umbreon here. I can Snarl, kind of get after it that way. And I could go Groudon, which I, I probably will. Actually, mm, let's go Charizard. Let's get Charizard rolling here. Well, I can go Charizard and Indeedee. Predict him going for the Drought. Bring Groudon in that back end, and then bring Kartana. I am liking that. I was going to end up bringing Umbreon. I probably should have brought Umbreon just to or Porygon. More so Umbreon, just so I can have a special attack shopper there. But I think we're fine. I think we're going to do just fine. I just brought Kartana in the back end, considering I had five seconds left. I was like, yo, we need a Pokemon, and Kartana is a, a pretty good attacker. So we're going to throw him in the back. He's, he's not a bad choice. He's always good all around. But is he going to lead Drought for me? That's what I'm kind of hoping. If not, we have Indeedee. He does not lead the Drought. He, he was thinking, I'm going to lead the Drought. So we're going to end up going Charizard. Charizard's outspeeding right now, which is lovely. And I could just go straight for a follow me. I could go straight for follow me, Dynamax, and get Ampharos. We do have the Surge, which is lovely. Nice little Surge. And who poses a bigger threat, yo? This Venusaur? Or the Zacian, bro? Kind of both do. I could go for a Heat Wave. Heat Wave could be gnarly. Um, What do I go for here? I don't want to start going for Airstreams, but at the same time. I think I'm just going to drop a Wildfire over on the Zacian. Let's play. Yeah, we, dude, we gotta get rid of somebody. And just follow me in case of the what's called. In case the what's called comes out here. Sleep powder. 
Then if he swaps Torkoal, yeah, he is gonna. Oh, he, ooh, he swaps that side. So good thing we're going after Zassi. Who are you going into from here? He's gonna go Colossal, thinking I'm going after him. Big mistake, baby. Zassian is posing that threat. Get him out of here. Get him out of here. <laughs> and Zassian can't Dynamax, which means. Which doesn't mean anything. Which doesn't mean anything. I was gonna say, which means he can't hit my Charizard. But he can't hit my Charizard anyway, because we're going for Follow Me. But, big old play, yo. G Max Charizard's where it's at. Such a good Pokemon. Always been a top tier Pokemon. Hard to counter up on. He's a beast in the sun. Follow Me's gonna come out here, and we make a nice. Uh, a nice play by going after Zassian in turn one. I thought he was going to swap out Zassian for the Torkoal once I saw swap and swap and happen. Behemoth Blade comes out here. Uh, indeed, can you eat this up? Do me a favor. Say, yo, that's a tasty snack. Ooh. Are we sashed? Oh, we are sashed. <laughs> so, we're eating it up anyway. Here comes Wildfire. Hopefully, Wildfire can take out. That could be a big play. We can get rid of this thing. It does. Yo, this thing's an absolute beast. This thing's an absolute beast. We take him out. We get the Wildfire damage going around. Which is wonderful. And we have Dynamax ready to go. Or like, we're Dynamax, so we're rolling here. And he doesn't have Sun out, so we cannot get his Venusaur out here. In double speed. So if he brings out Venusaur, I might just start Airstreaming at that point. But I do have another Follow Me, which is great. Colossal might get Dynamax. Oh, and he doesn't bring Sun out. He predicted I'm bringing Sun. Um, do I Quake? Hmm, I could Airstream. Airstream might be the play. Start speed and boosting. Uh, I think I'm going to Helping Hand here. I'm going to Helping Hand here. Okay, so I'm not really going to bring in uh, what's called till the end. Because Venusaur is going to double its speed in that sun. So we have that Groudon. I could have actually brought out the Groudon right now. Just get the solar power damage. That could have been a move. And keep in DD for a back end. But nah, I'd rather get rid of a follow me right here. He's probably going to Dynamax here. Actually, I did not. I did not go for a follow me. I probably should have because he's Dynamaxing the Colossal, right? To drop a rock fall on me. So that probably should have been a play. Jeans, you done messed up. You done messed up, Jeans. I mean, Kartana can do pretty good up against that. I mean, uh, if he hits me with a fire move, I'm, I'm done for. But Helping Hand's going to come out here. I want to get off some big damage before we do roll out here. Maybe he'll just go after my Nidhi. He guards, yo. He guards. So we luck out here, which is awesome. Indeed, he's protected by Psychic Terrain. Airstream coming out here with the Helping Hand damage, which is wonderful. Now we can't guard, and we get rid of you. That is huge. Now I can follow me. I can take out the Venusaur, and I think I can roll out this battle. I think we're sitting real good here. Oh, we're sitting real good here. Because he can't guard. He's going to have to waste out a turn, so I'd rather follow me this turn. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yo, he guarded it. See, when I don't even try to read the max guard, which I that, I, that was actually uh, very easily easily readable, that guard. Um, do I airstream again or do I just wildfire? Hmm. We got a speed boost for the squad. I, I don't, we don't need it. We don't need it. Would love to do this, but I'm just, I'm just gonna take you out. I'm gonna hit you with that wildfire. I'm gonna go for that follow me. But go for that follow me, baby. We get after it. Is Venusaur going to protect? He does. Yo, that buttery biscuit. <laughs> that buttery biscuit. He drops to protect. Um, he's probably going to rock fall this turn. That's lovely. Follow me comes out here. Got to drop a rock. Let's see how much damage this wildfire can do through a protect. That's it. I probably should have read that protect. But I kind of want to get rid of this Venusaur. I do not want to get crowd on out just yet. Here's that Volklift. That's going to go over to my Indeedee because of follow me. That's totally fine. Uh, Charger's gonna take some bulk with damage now. I can uh, I can take out Venusaur for free here. So I'm gonna drop Venusaur. My Dynamax turns are over, but I'm gonna drop Venusaur here. Uh, I'm not gonna bring out the Groudon just yet. I'm gonna actually bring out Cartana. Let's save Groudon for that back end. So I don't have to worry about Venusaur here unless my move misses. You guys know we always be missing our moves. We always be missing our moves. We're gonna bring out Cartana. Cartana's gonna be faster than both these guys. Like, I'm not bringing out Groudon because I do not want him to have speed and potentially put a Pokemon to sleep or get speed advantage and take out one of my Pokemon. Like, I just don't have to do it. Not my problem. Not my problem. Uh, Air Slash would be the safe play, which I am going to do. I am going to take him out with an Air Slash instead of going for Heat Wave. And I think... Can we one-hit KO those guys? I'm going for it. <laughs> I'm going for it, bro. I don't know if you can one-hit KO a Dynamax Pokemon. He's going to try to protect again. Get out of here. It fails. Air Slash can come out here. Pick up KO. Yo. 
Can guillotine pick up the KO here? I don't know if we can do that to Dynamax Pokemon, but yo, I'm gonna try it. I'm gonna try it. I wonder who he's going after. I do wonder who he's going after. Guillotine, connect. It's unaffected. Yo, get out of my face, yo. Flares can come out. Oh, you oh, you're thinking Kartana's a bigger threat. Dang it, dude. I wanted my Kartana. Okay, so note self. Cannot go for one hit KOs on Dynamax Pokemon. That's kinda lame. That is kinda lame. But so that that kind of could be I could see why it's broken, but it's a 30% accuracy. So it's like, eh. Like, come on. But he does set the sun for us. Uh, we have speed advantage. I'm going to bring out my Groudon. We have Blades coming out here, which is going to do big damage. And then I can just actually hit him with the Scorching Sands as well. We can do both. Yeah, this thing's done for. This is GG's. First match is going to go to us. But, dude, could you imagine if I was just like, yeah, guillotine, get out of my face. Scorching Sands. Uh, this may also leave him with a burn. We're going for it. And I'm just going to drop a nice little Blades here. I could Sword Sands, but there's no point. He's probably just going to start running this battle. Which chance can come out here. This one isn't going to pick up KO, but... Uh, oh, it is. Wow. Wow. Big old damage. Big old damage, considering it's four times effective, but still. GG. We go 1-0. Oh, we can hop into our second battle and look to get a win streak rolling with this team. This is one of the best parts about a new season in Pokemon Sword and Shield. Everybody's using some fun teams like this one right here. We got an Eternatus team, and he also has Copper Zha, Ludicolo, Dragapult, Rotom Heat, and Grimstone. So it's always fun to go up against teams like this instead of just playing the meta over and over and over again. But that's what I like about new seasons. Like, dude, you're rocking out. We're playing some cool teams, and we're having some fun with this game. But who should I go into? How should I lead this one? Um, Is Eternatus, is he physical or special? He might be special, but I could see him being physical as well. So it's like, eh, I don't know. I do not know. This is Copper Zha, which, oh, I'm, I might just lead Drought. I might just lead Drought and get after it that way. Might be a play. Might be a power move from Jeans. Let's do it. He, he has n nothing to really counter up on it. I'm going to bring Umbreon in that back end. And then do I bring Kartana? I don't think we, oh, uh, yeah, let's bring Kartana. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Kartana definitely coming in here. So I was like, why would I bring Porygon 2 in the back end? Really wouldn't do anything. Indeed, he would make more sense. But it's just like, dude, we don't need it. Let's just go all attacking, have our Umbreon for our support mod, and get rolling from there. But this guy gives me no reason not to lead the drought, ground on with Charizard. I can just power through this battle, I'm thinking. But yeah, like I said in the beginning of the video, like YouTube's just been acting weird. And it's been really irking me because I've been trying to get out content for you guys. And yeah, that's really been a problem. Like I've been clicking the upload button, doing what I normally do on a daily basis. Like upload, it makes me go through all the settings and everything. Put in the description, all that, I do that. And then it won't let me click this other button. And YouTube always has, like, little tiny problems, which which just bothers me. Like, they always had this for a while now. Like, sometimes my videos won't process. I would have to delete them again and re-upload them so they would process through. Like, they just have little problems sometimes, and it really just irks me. Probably irks a lot of people, because I know I'm not the only one. But we're going to lead these two. And I actually might Sword Dance up. I might Sword Dance up. Could go for the blades, but he has levitate. It is super effective off, up against Eternatus. I'm going to sword stance up, and I might protect here. I am going to actually protect the Charizard. So I can see the lightning move coming across here. Let's see what he does. I'm going to protect Charizard, try to set up a sword stance, and see what we can do from here. If I get a sword stance roll, oh. no, it's going. You know what's about to go down. <laughs> we get a sword stance rolling. Let's see. Protect comes out here. Bolt switch coming out. Block. Get him out of my face. Get him out of my face. See? Show me you're doubling up. Dynamax cannon. Ooh. Or does that hit through protect? I don't think it does. I think you're going after Groudon. If Groudon does not outspeed, which is good to know. Um, Charizard should be able to outspeed Eternatus. I get my berry out here. My sword dance is set up. Uh, I think I Dynamax my boy now. I think I not, not Groudon. I think I Dynamax Charizard. Get the speed boost into that left slot. Um, and then we, uh, we roll out with the blades. We have blades. Cause he's probably going to volt switch out again, or at least go for it. I'm going to airstream. Hmm. I think he's volt switching, so. I think he's volt switching, so I'd rather get the speed boost right now. I'm going to, I'm going to go here. I think he's going to volt switch again. Let's see. Let's see what he does. So we have two big threats right here. We have Charizard bulking up here. In Dynamax form. And we have a plus two ground on. So, like, who are you going to go after? How are you going to do this? Uh, Dynamax Cannon is scary. But I feel like if I Airstream and get that speed boost ground on, should be able to outspeed him. And just dump on him and take him out. Because Charizard should be faster, right? 
Volt switch should come through again, right? Yep. Lovely little Volt switch. Charizard can eat that off. I knew that was coming. And this is what I want him to swap out and the airstream come through on whatever Pokemon he's throwing out. Get it, Charizard. Get it, baby. Get after it. Who's it going to be? Who's taking this hit? Oh, I like that. I dig that. You outspeed me. He's going to go for another Dynamax Cannon over onto Groudon. Thinking I'm Dynamax Groudon. And Groudon should be able to eat that up again. Yep, Groudon's going to be able to eat that up again. Thank you very much. It's not doing double damage because he's not Dynamax. And this is big because this should be big damage here. Yep, take you out. And Blades is coming out here to take out this Eternus. What a strong start. What a strong start. We would have Dynamaxed my Charizard. That could have been big. But I still think we pick up double KO even if he, does, if, even if he takes out my Charizard. Now Charizard's going to be outspeeding. Oh! 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 What you mean? Oh! Oh! That, that hurts, man. Fighting the heart. Fighting the heart. Are you kidding me? What you mean? Ah! Uh, ouch! Yo, you... Bruh, do this game. Set up a nice swords dance just to miss our blades, man. Hopefully we outspeed now. At least my Charizard outspeeds. It should be able to with a plus one. So we get another boost because I got to go for another boost now. Oh, that's disgusting, man. That this, this game, this game. Yo, what's that accuracy on that? Isn't it like 95? That one, that one hurts. I'm going to go back out in the road time. Ah, the sharp pain, man. What is this? It's 85, but still, but still, come on. Got to go for this again. So I'm just going to wildfire. I'm going to wildfire. Get that wildfire damage ripping around here. Actually, why would I wildfire? I need to. I need the speed boost. I'm stupid. Come on, Ginger, better than that. Oh, oh, wow. Oh, Charizard, chill. That's fine. I'll do wildfire all day. That's fine, yo. Big damage there. Big damage. He's gonna go for another cannon. Ah, oh, dude, you should be dead. You should be dead. But now I'm putting up another wildfire on you. I have to. Wildfire damage is out and about. Dang, you. That stinks, man. He still has Dynamax, which he's gonna have to use on this next Pokemon. He's gonna have to show his final Pokemon in Dynamax, because he cannot Dynamax this guy. We're gonna do some wildfire chip damage, and we still have one more turn. Uh, I am gonna bring Umbreon out here for this turn. Hopefully, it's a special attacker. I'll just start snarling. Getting after it. Oh, it's Grimmsnarl. That'll be a physical attack in Grimmsnarl. That'll be a powerhouse of Grimmsnarl. Right? It's gotta be a powerhouse of Grimmsnarl. I'm just gonna. Uh, should I yawn it? Could yawn it. Could give it the. Could, could give it the sleepy bye byes. The wildfire. I am going to actually quake here. Because I can. Because I can. Here goes the Dynamax. Yep. And I'm yawning on this boy. I'm giving him the yawn. He's Dynamax and Grimstarl. Trying to get after it as like a last ditch effort. Is this G Max Grimstarl? It is not. Just regular. Just regular big boy Snarl. Regular bulky boy hitting the gym seven times a week Grimstarl. Look at him. Look how thin. His torso is. He's got the powerhouse of the quads. His upper body's immaculate. <laughs> dude, this dude's a straight on roids. Max Quake comes out. Ends up picking up the KO. That's beautiful. Charizard just clutching, man. He's so good. I always, I always do good with Charizard teams. He's very easy to play. Very good Pokemon. Great speed. Great special attack. His moves are phenomenal. His, uh, his move set choice is great too, considering you get the air, uh, the speed boost, the special defense boost, and then you have the wildfire damage. Here's Starfall. Umbreon eats. Oh, that's lovely. That's lovely. That's going to be GG. I can double protect if I wanted to. He's going to set the terrain, but terrain isn't going to matter here. I, I don't think. Oh, actually, it might. But Yawn's coming out here. Now, he would need electric terrain for that, right? Getting drowsy, yo. Solar power popping out here. I can sing with a monster heat wave now. And what is this thing? Leftovers. I was like, yo, how do we proc a policy? <laughs> I, every time I hear that sound, I think it's policy. But just leftovers. Well, we got leftovers too, which is wonderful. So Charizard turns are over. That's fine. He goes back to normal boy. And, you know, this dude better watch out. I'm coming for him. I'm coming for him right here. Good moonlight. I could moonlight. Let's get the moonlight rolling. We can get some HP back, and I'll drop a heat wave. This will do the most damage. We have drought. We have solar power. We have life orb. Heat wave coming out here. Bang! Big damage. Give me the burn. Give me the burn. I'm going to go down to solar power at the end of the turn. Unless this goes out. Max Echo going to come through. Go after Charizard. Takes out my Umbreon. And wait just a minute. 
Cartana, please show me you outspeed here. I need my Cartana to outspeed, yo. Oh, sun. Never mind. Sunlight fades. No more solar power. Mwah. Works out perfectly for you, boy. Works out perfectly. Works out perfectly because I know one of my guys are getting off a hit now. That's GG's. That's GG's. Oh, and the mist. It was the mist. Comes out at perfect time. But I can smart strike. Smart strike's not going to miss. Unless he kills my Kartana here. Well, Kartana should be able to outspeed. Same thing with Charizard. That's GG's. Smart strike's not going to miss. Unlike the blades, man. The blades really missed. This this game would have been over by now. I would have just had my ground on rolling out with a swords dance. But GG's 2-0 to start off the season. Yo, we're rocking out here. Great team to actually get started off with the season. We're sitting at 2-0. We can hop into our third and final battle and look for a perfect record. We got this, ladies and gentlemen. We got this right here. We're sitting at 2-0. Looking to go 3-0. I can't remember the last time we went 3-0. But it's going to be this video. We're going to do it right here, right now for you guys. This guy is a restaurant team. And it's looking pretty strong. He also has a few meta Pokemon with Tapu Fini, Regilecki, and Landris. And then he also has the Clefable and Rotom Heat in the back end. Um, He might lead the Fable. I could totally see the Fable coming in here. I kind of want to lead that Kartana. Maybe try to get a Beast Boost rolling. He doesn't have a lot of weather control. I could go Groudon for turn 1. We'll go ground on Kartana, but uh, that's not really too good. I could go Kartana and Umbreon. I'm kind of liking that. Kartana and Umbreon. Get that lead rolling and bring the ground on Charizard combo in the back. Yeah, you give me no reason to go into a Trick Room. Like, you don't really have a lot of speed here. I could go Indeedee. I could go Indeedee Kartana. Try to pick up a few KOs. Turn one. Kind of roll from there. I do like having, I do, I definitely want to lead Kartana because I think a Fable could be a, a lead. And I kind of want to go Groudon. Actually, let's go Indeedee. And sorry, Umbreon, we're going to go Groudon and Charizard. Oh, wait, 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 what is going on here? Oh, are you kidding me? We're running out of time. Can I get all these guys clicked in? We got five seconds now. We chilling, we chilling. Groudon, two and one. And we got our team. We got our team. Because I just, like, I wanted to go into, uh, Kartana and someone else, but I was like, if he leads the Reg Ram, it has a fire move. But I'd rather bring an NDD to kind of protect that. But I can totally see Fable coming in here. That's why I want to get this Kartana. Maybe I can pick up an early KO, get a Beast Boost rolling, and uh, run from there. Instead of just going Grout, charge our Drought on. You guys just seen that in like the last two battles. But he does go exactly who I think he's going to go. He's going to go Reg Ram and the Fable. So, NDD, Kartana's solid. Solid, solid, solid. So, I can go to a Smart Strike, get some big damage off on the Fable, uh, drop a follow me. And second surge is buzzing. It is buzzing. All right. I see you, Cartana. Follow me. Mwah. Smart strike. Mwah. Into the fable. Hopefully he doesn't protect. He might protect. Maybe I should have just went after a regular him. Let's see. Let's see what he's going to do. Well, I can see a follow me coming out here. Is she gonna oh, oh. Oh, with the withdrawal, baby. Lando's coming out here for the intimidate. Smart little move there. Smart little cookie move. So not bad. Not a bad play by him. A smart cookie. I feel like if you protect, you should be able to uh, block and intimidate. I think that should be a thing. And he is going to end up Dynamaxing. Okay, so an early Dynamax coming out from him. I have a Focus Ash on my... Uh, I have a Focus Ash on my NDD. So I am kind of digging this play. Because I can potentially waste out two Dynamax turns and have Charizard grab on in the back end and potentially roll out of this battle. But I knew this one was going to be tough. This is, this is a strong team right here. This is a strong team. I'm going to intimidate a minus one. Follow me. He's going to come out here. Hey, yo, over here. Look at me. Look at me. And hopefully, Rush Ram is faster than uh, Landers in the next turn. There's my charge, Smart Strike. Ooh, doing a little bit of damage. We are minus one. And there goes the flare. He's going to set the drought for us. I don't mind. And Sash is going to pop. All right, so Sash is popping. Um, I think Artana might be able to outspeed everybody. is orb he shows his orb i'm gonna go for another follow me here go for leaf blade i think leaf blade is gonna be the player we potentially get a crit and do more damage onto this lando onto the lando might swap back into fable which would be a play which would be a power move which would be a power move but if i get rid of this lando for my ground on i would like that a lot i would like that a lot dun, 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 dun. yo rush ram's dope such a cool looking pokemon I do think a black and white remake needs to come. Or I, I would love a Gen 2 remake. You know, we have Gen 4 coming. Gen 4 I'm hyped for, but I think next one is 
between Gen 5 or Gen 2. I'm leaning towards Gen 2. Gen 2 rocks. And he's going to U-turn out. And he is going to be able to pick up that double KO. That kind of stinks. He's going to U-turn out. And he's going to get back after it. Um, now would be a time to bring out my Charizard and Groudon. Gotta do it. We gotta do it. Artana's dead. He's dead, man. This one's tough. I don't think 3 0 is happening, ladies and gents. Maple's coming back out here, and it, it doesn't even matter. I think this player's coming to drop us down. Leaf Blade Blop. Bopping out here. A nice little damage. No crit. Sold a lot of damage there. There goes the player. And he KOs me, man. He drops me. Alright, now we're bringing out the big guns. Now, now you won't play with us. I tried going easy on you, but he did make a great read. He made a great swap into the Lando from the Fable slot, which was which is smart. But that smart strike could have potentially KO'd in one shot. I'm thinking it would have. But we gotta go with big boys. We're gonna place Charizard on the left. I don't. I never got what placing on the right and the left does. Is it like for more like a mind thing? Like do people like think to hit more on the right side? Like I don't know. Like, is it... Let me know in the comment section down below. You guys know way more about this. Like, I'm always answering you guys' questions, and I love that you guys come up clutch with it. But let me know if placing your Pokemon on the left or right side does anything. Because I don't think it does. But they have it in the game. Well, I can Dynamax Charizard, which is exactly what I'm going to do. Fable could swap, but I am going to go for that Wildfire. And do I protect? Or I think I just go for straight Blades here. I'm going to go straight for a Blades. And I can see him going, oh, this is what he's going to do. He's, he's going to go for an worm one here. Get the attack drop on my Groudon. Then swap out and and uh, into Lando next turn after I KO this Clefable. And roll from there. Hopefully Charizard outspeeds Rush Ram. That could be big. If not, I wish I would have went for an Airstream. Because next turn I could totally take it out with a with a Max Quake. Helping hand coming out here. Ooh. Oh, no. Yo, chill on me, man. Chill on me. So I do outspeed, which is great. Wildfire coming out here. Fable's dead. Get it out of my face. Get him going. I wonder what moves he's going to be going for. He's got to be going for a worm win, right? Over on the charge hard. Let's see. Let's see what Big Dog does. He's going to go for the worm win. Over on the charge hard, right? Yep, charge hard, eat. Bruh. That's GG's. That's GG's, man. There's Groudon's minus one now. Lander's going to come back out, and then he's minus two. Oh! The disrespect, dude. Rest Ram coming up big. Being phenomenal. Rush Ram is just a great Pokemon. All around. Hits like a truck. And no perfect record for us today. Yo, Blades is still doing some heaping amount of damage. Yo, Blades is still rocking out. Blades is still doing crazy amount of damage. That's minus one there. That did a lot. Rotom's coming out here. Oh, man. Rotom coming out here. He can't hit me with electric. And fire. I don't think fire's going to do too, too much. Can I KO with a rock slide? I think I can. Maybe. Maybe. Let's see what he does. Fusion Flare's coming out here. Oh, this was the move I was worried about in the beginning. This is the move is dope. He's only he's ground type, so that's GG. See, like, dude, he should be fire. He gets a crit, but we, we, we were losing that one anyway. But he should be fire type. If you send a drought, you should be fire. If you set rain, you should be water. That's just, just facts. But GG, we go 2 and 1 for today's video. Solid set of battles for today's video. I absolutely love this team. I always like playing Charizard teams. They're a lot of fun. They're easy to play, and I think they're easy wins on the ranked double ladder. We went 2-1 today, dominated our first battle, dominated the second battle, and then just got outpowered by Rush Ram in the third. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when my videos go live. And... If this video does go live, it should go live on the Saturday, April the 3rd, which means tomorrow is Easter. So I hope you guys do enjoy your holiday. If you guys do celebrate Easter, if not, enjoy your day. Have a great time. Spend some time with the family. All that good stuff. But seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread some positivity today. And I'll catch you all in the next one. Peace out, everybody.